Were women treated equally in Seattle Jewish institutions in the 20s? The answer may surprise you. In 1920, the 19th Amendment passed, granting women suffrage rights. Before this landmark piece of legislation, women were involved in an ongoing struggle for equal rights. In Seattle, two Jewish institutions were formed, the Reform Temple de Her Sinai and the Orthodox Bikr Cholom Maxike Hadas, or BCMH. In 1900, a full 20 years before the 19th Amendment passed, Temple de Hirsch released its first constitution which takes a stance in support of women and gender equality. It affords full membership to any Israelite being desirous of becoming a member of the congregation. In a time period fraught with conflict over the rights of women, not differentiating potential congregants by sex was actually a notable statement in favor of suffrage rights and equality. The first constitution from BCMH, dating back to 1921, does differentiate based on sex, but still allows women to become members. Its constitution reads, Women of the Jewish faith shall be eligible to become associate members of the congregation, but shall not have the right to vote at congregation meetings or the right to hold office in the congregation. This associate membership distinguishes between men and women, but by creating special means for women to join the congregation, BCMH is actually welcoming them, demonstrating a permissive stance. This is further reflected in the congregation's willingness to allow women to pay reduced dues of $1 per month rather than $6 to reflect wage differences. The willingness to adopt measures that reflected changes in American political policy demonstrated the role that Americanization played in the emergence of early Jewish institutions. Jewish leaders wanted their institutions to reflect changing gender roles in American society, so the treatment of women in their constitutions mirrored the rights afforded by federal law. By examining the founding documents of these synagogues, we can glean that they were pioneers in affording rights to women, painting a relatively progressive picture of Jewish life in early Seattle.